Have you ever wondered what it takes to wield power and influence effectively? The answer lies within the 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. In a world where power dynamics shape every interaction, understanding the rules of the game can be a game changer. That's where Robert Greene's 48 Laws of Power comes in. This set of laws, or rather guidelines, can help you navigate the intricate labyrinth of power relations, be it in the office, at home, or in any social setting. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the first 24 laws of power, giving you a quick but comprehensive explanation of each. These laws range from the importance of maintaining a consistent reputation to the art of making yourself indispensable, and many more. So are you ready to unravel the secrets of power and influence? Let's delve into the first set of laws and begin our journey. Starting with Law 1, Never Outshine the Master. This law emphasizes the importance of not flaunting your superior talents as it could lead to those above you developing a dislike for you. It's a reminder to remain humble, even when you're at the top of your game. Moving on to Law 2, Never Put Too Much Trust in Friends Use Your Enemies. This law is about understanding the dynamics of friendships and enmities. Friends driven by envy and resentment can turn into foes, but enemies, when treated wisely, can become valuable allies. Next comes Law 3, Conceal Your Intentions. This isn't about being dishonest, but rather about maintaining a strategic advantage by not revealing your plans or strategies. The less others know about your next move, the less they can interfere. Law 4. Always say less than necessary. It's an important reminder that powerful people impress by talking less. This law points to the power of restraint in communication. It's about choosing your words carefully and making every word count. Then we have Law 5. Protect your reputation at all costs. Your reputation is your most valuable asset. It's the cornerstone of your power. If someone wants to destroy you, they'll attack your reputation. Therefore, you must protect it at all costs. And finally, Law 6. Court attention at all costs. To gain power, you need to stand out from the crowd. It's about making your presence felt and making sure others notice you. But remember, the attention you seek should be positive and beneficial, not negative or harmful. These initial laws set the foundation for understanding the dynamics of power and influence. Moving on to Law 7, get others do the work for you, but take the credit. It's about leveraging your team's work and presenting the result as your own. An astute leader knows the strength of their team and how to utilize it. They can then showcase the collective efforts as a testament to their leadership. Next, Law 8. Make people come to you. This is about setting the stage in a way that compels others to approach you, rather than you chasing after them. It's about creating an aura of authority and demand that naturally draws people in. Law 9. Win through actions, never through argument. This one emphasizes the importance of showing rather than telling. Actions, after all, speak louder than words and are a more definitive proof of one's capabilities. Then we have Law 10. Don't get infected by misery and misfortune. This law advises us to associate ourselves with positivity and success. Surround yourself with winners and happiness, and you'll likely see a positive impact on your own mindset and outcomes. Law 11. Learn to keep people dependent on you. This is about making yourself indispensable, a linchpin to the operation. When others rely on you, it naturally increases your power and influence. And lastly for this segment, Law 12. Use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. This law is a bit of a double-edged sword. It advises the use of honesty and generosity to build trust, but then suggests that this trust can be used to deceive. It's a reminder that power can be a game of chess, and sometimes, one must think several moves ahead. These laws provide insight into the strategies of maintaining power and influence. They're not about manipulation, but rather about understanding human nature and leveraging it to build and maintain power. Remember, power isn't inherently good or bad. It's how we choose to use it that defines our leadership. Let's continue with Law 13. Get help by appealing to self-interest, never to their mercy. It's about finding what's in it for others today, not reminding them of past good deeds. People are naturally self-interested and tend to act in ways that benefit them. So if you need help, appeal to their interests, not their sympathy. Next up, Law 14, pose as a friend, work as a spy. This law advises us to gather intelligence and learn people's secrets by getting close to them. It's about understanding the power dynamics around you and using it to your advantage. Law 15, crush your enemy totally. This one is self-explanatory. 
Green suggests that leaving an enemy half-defeated can lead to future problems, so if you're in a battle, make sure to finish it decisively. On to Law 16, raise your value through absence and scarcity. This law is about making yourself more valuable by not always being available. By creating scarcity, you increase your perceived value. Next, we have Law 17, keep others in suspended terror, cultivate an air of unpredictability. Predictability makes you an easy target. By being unpredictable, you keep others on their toes, making it harder for them to anticipate your moves. Finally, Law 18. Don't isolate yourself behind a fortress. Despite the appeal of solitude, it's crucial to mingle with the people. Isolation cuts you off from valuable information and makes you vulnerable. Remember, knowledge is power. These laws reveal the strategies of maintaining power and influence in different circumstances. They might seem harsh, but they are drawn from centuries of history and human behavior. They are not about being evil, but about understanding the dynamics of power and using them to your advantage. Remember, these laws are tools, and like any tool, their use depends on the wielder. Next, we have Law 19. Know who you're dealing with. It's about picking good targets and not crossing the wrong people. You see, power isn't just about making moves, it's about knowing the chessboard and knowing who holds the power to checkmate you. Moving on to Law 20, do not commit to anyone. This law emphasizes the importance of maintaining your independence as long as possible. Being tethered to another's decisions and whims can limit your power, so keep your options open and your autonomy intact. Then there's Law 21, play a sucker to catch a sucker, seem dumber than your mark. This law plays on the art of deception. By appearing less intelligent than you are, you encourage others to underestimate you, and that's when they lower their guard. Next is Law 22, use the surrender tactic. This law advises against fighting until the bitter end, but instead, surrendering and regrouping. Sometimes, admitting defeat can be a strategic move, allowing you to conserve energy and resources for a more advantageous battle. Law 23, concentrate your forces. This one is all about the power of focus. Intensity and deep work yield better results. Spread yourself too thin and you risk diluting your power. Lastly, we have Law 24. Play the perfect court here. This law is all about mastering the game of politics. It's about being able to navigate complex social dynamics and using them to your advantage. These final laws in our discussion today offer more intricate strategies to maintain power and influence. Remember, power isn't just about dominating others. It's about understanding the landscape, playing your cards right, and always staying one step ahead. Now that we've covered the first 24 laws of power, let's do a quick recap. We've learned that it's important to never outshine the master and to always say less than necessary. We've also discovered that our reputation is our cornerstone and we should court attention at all costs. We've discussed the value of getting others to do the work for us, but taking the credit and the power of winning through actions, not arguments. We've explored the importance of keeping people dependent on us and the strategy of using selective honesty and generosity to disarm our victims. We've also touched on the benefits of posing as a friend to work as a spy and the necessity of crushing our enemies totally. Lastly, we've delved into the art of playing the perfect courtier. Remember, power and influence are tools, not goals. Use them wisely to build a better world around you. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll explore the remaining 24 laws of power. Thank you for watching.